Now it's the scariest night of the year, but you might think you're safe sat in front of Coronation Street waiting to dole out sweets to the kids, trick or treating. Yeah, but Weatherfield has its own grisly past, as our entertainment correspondent Caroline Whitmore found out earlier on a trip to what we're going to call... Coronation Street. I thank you. <laughs> Well, Paul, the Coronation Street story in Manchester should have been shut in this month, and it's now been extended into 2015, hasn't it? Absolutely. What are you doing special for Halloween? Oh, Halloween, we've had events all week here at uh, the historic Coronation Street uh, studios, uh, and tonight, of course, it's Halloween itself, and we have uh, our darker side of the cobbles tour, including Rob Donovan's weapon that he used to finish Is this the, the actual this weapon? Is the actual one. It's the first death that we cover on our tour. Because people have actually been lay on the floor getting the pitch taken they've where been, Tina died. They've been doing it all the way since June. <laughs> the lady the other day laid in a puddle. But let's visit some more sites of murder. Yes, come let's on, do come this. On. Come on. Uh, number nine was where our very first murder on Coronation Street took place back in 1975. A lady called Lynn Johnson. And she was actually murdered by her own husband, Roy. I think she's dead. Tommy Harris. Yes, Killer Katie. Made his, uh, his last few breaths here. Yes, Killer Katie. And um, of course, all over a, a relationship with Martin. Because there have actually been 18 murders, haven't they, in 54 years? Yes. And that's a lot of murders. You really wouldn't want to live in Weatherfield, would you? No, I don't think you'd get house insurance. And give us the money. Mentioned 18. We also had Ernest Bishop who died on the spot. Now, whether that was murder or not, we don't know. It was an armed robbery and the gun accidentally went off. But that's sort of open to debate, isn't it? Ernie. Uh, this house right here is the Platts and. Uh, of course, it was home to Richard Hillman, our oh, most yes. famous serial killer. You should have stayed at the party, Maxine. <laughs> well, this bench is in celebration of the life of Maxine Peacock. That you, Mr. Richard Hillman, a.k.a. Brian Capron, you took away Maxine's life with this crowbar. With one of these. <laughs> Wasn't that awful? I'm going to be haunting the street today with my crowbar, reliving some of the murders that I committed. <laughs> This is such an iconic place, you know. Everybody feels at home with it because they know it so well. And it's such an iconic landmark. You think of Manchester and you think of Coronation Street, and it's all here. Obviously, it's a very nostalgic trip for me. Oh, Halloween, how fabulous is that? Well, give us your nastiest Richard Hillman. I know where you live. <laughs> no! <laughs> Hillman, scary ass. He doesn't uh, look like he's acting. <laughs> no, he doesn't, does he? Carries here now with the weather. Uh,